Hey guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I want to show you a super quick and super easy way of using Isotope RX with Logic Pro X. Now these two applications can speak to each other really easily, really simply, and you just have to go through a couple of steps to make them do that. Let's check it out. So first of all, I'm going to go into Logic Pro in Preferences and go to Audio. And I can tell Logic Pro what external editor I want it to use. I can tell it that when I press a certain key command, I want it to open up RX. I can do that by going into Audio and then go to File Editor. Now I've got my external sample editor set up at the moment to be RX. Let's just go through the processes now so you can see it as well. So I'm going to click here and it's going to bring up my applications. I'm going to go down to where I know Isotope RX 9 audio editor is. I'm going to click Choose. Now Logic knows that that is my external audio editor of choice. And there's one small shortcut that you need to know for this, and that is Shift and W. So I'm going to close my preferences. And this particular track here, it's got some click in the guitar track. Let's take a listen quickly. So you can hear a little bit of that click track. I don't want that, and RX is a great application for getting rid of it. I'm going to select that one region and press Shift and W. That is going to bring up my file within RX. I can then process that file in whatever way I want, whatever kind of repair process I want to do from within RX, and then I can use RX to overwrite that original file. There's a shortcut for it, but let's go into the menu to see it first off. I go to File, and it's Overwrite Original File. So that's Alt, Command, and S. If I press that now, Command, Alt, S, it's going to overwrite the original file. When I go back into Logic, it's going to be there by default. It's going to have overwritten the file, and I can get on with my mix without any of the issues that I've just rectified using Isotope RX. But wait, sometimes we don't want to edit the entire audio file. Sometimes we just want to edit a small portion of it. If we open it in an external editor, then it's going to open up in RX and it's just going to read the entire audio file. That's not always what we want. But we don't want to go through the rigmarole of just bouncing one section just so we can then open that up as a new file. So we can do something in Logic to get around that. Here's what we do. Take a listen to this one guitar part. It's got a, a small tap at the end that I just want to get rid of. But just in this one section, it only happens once. Just at the end, a bit of fret buzz. So I don't want to take the entire file because then I'd have to go into it, find exactly where it was. It, it's, it's a pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this section with my marquee tool, click it, and that's going to separate just that one section. So if I control click and go down to convert and convert to new audio file, then this is going to allow me to create a new audio file with just that section of audio. Click save. And then when I press shift and W, it's going to open just that one section in RX and I can go ahead and just edit that one pesky bit that I want to get rid of without having to open the full file and searching all the way through it. I hope that's helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the channel and I'll catch you later. Take care.